Alex, we had another question um, in the group, and I'm not sure if this is Percy's question, uh, but it was about the grammar to use in a, in a specific phrase. The result of this is or was 70%. Who asked that question? Was it Percy? Yes, it was me. All right, Percy. So I looked into this. So I, I, I remember seeing this question popping up. So basically, it really depends on the context of the sentence that you're using, but both of them are uh, accurate depending on whether you're speaking in the present tense or the past tense. So the result of this experiment is 70%. That, that's fine if we're talking in the present tense. So often the context or the broader context of a sentence will help us define whether it's happening in the past or in the present. In this case, both options are good. It just depends whether the situation takes place in the past or in the yes. present. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, so, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you for your answer. Uh, the situation is uh, we have done the, the, the something, yeah, and then I'm, I'm going to send out the report. So I don't know whether this is a present tense or is a past tense because the, the, the I, I can say that this is a audit. This is a uh, result of the audit. Uh -huh. So this audit has been done before, mm -hmm. yeah, before I send out the report. Mm -hmm. So the result is using present tense or the past tense? I am confused, yeah. So over here, we're talking about an audit. An audit is something that took place in the past and you're reporting yes. back on this yeah. situation. So I would yes. probably use the past here, all right? I would say the, okay. the result of this audit was 70%, whatever, Got it. yeah? Uh, because it's an event that took place in the past. Therefore, that leads me to think that the calculations were made before now right uh -huh, yeah. and okay. so as a result i would think of it in the past so always think of it in terms of where am i located in relation to the event that took place all right mm -hmm. um however if you change the sentence and you say um we can see on the table or the graph that this result is 70 percent i've changed the structure of my sentence to talk in the present about me observing the results right now Therefore, the event that is taking place is me looking, right? And that's yeah. happening in the present. So it's all a question of what nouns you use and how we refer to those nouns if, they're, if they happened in the past or if they're happening right now, okay? Thank you very much. Is that a helpful answer to your question? Yes, yes. Now it's clear, much clear for me. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, another thing that I think you wrote down about... Uh, below, you'll find the findings that have been uh, found or something like that, right? Was yes, that a question yes. that you asked? Okay, yes, so okay. so this is a, an interesting uh, question uh, because what I'm noticing here uh, is that you're reporting back using the passive voice, yeah? Yes. These things have been found. So the action of finding is happening to the things. They're not an active... Um, it's not an active form of the, the sentence. No. Guys, in general, in English, let's try and use the active form as often as possible. Um, I know that there are some exceptions and where the passive voice, where something happens to something else, is accepted in the writing in English. All right. So, for example, scientific writing and uh, writing reports, um, um, this result has been achieved. All right. So no one is achieving the result the achieving happens to the result, all right? Uh, so that's what we call the passive form. In general, in English, we try to use the active form. So I would change your sentence probably to something like, uh, uh, we have found uh, that this behavior was consistent, all right? We have found, so we have acted, we have done the action of finding, and then mm -hmm. uh, the object of the sentence as a result. So let's try and uh, focus on using the active voice as often as possible. Um, using the active voice will give a, a much more direct quality to your speech. It'll be, um, uh, yeah, it'll allow you to just be a bit more clear and uh, more uh, optimal in your delivery of English. You're, no, you're not gonna use as many words, you're gonna be much more, um, uh, much more direct. So I would, um, encourage you to think about using the active voice as often as possible um, in your in your speech. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. Thank you. My Got pleasure. It. My I pleasure. Try.